with so much of the news being about negativity and despair, anything positive has to be seized upon. And a really nice story is that last week, a fisherman who'd been missing for 14 days from Florida and presumed dead at sea, was rescued over 200 miles away from the coastline. It transpired the guy's boat had run into some rocks and he survived on a diet of mussels and barnacles that were on the very rocks trapping his boat. So what a great story for his friends and family. However, this guy's version of events is somewhat unusual. He claims he was fed food by mermaids who then went on to sexually assault him. Now I can understand that a few hundred years ago sailors would believe in mermaids because if you're spending months on end trapped on a small wooden boat with nothing to drink but rum and a load of other men it won't be long before your mind starts playing tricks on you particularly if everyone's getting a bit desperate and suggests it's your turn in the barrel. But this is 2019, a modern fishing boat will have ship to shore, fish finder, GPS but this guy claims he was forced to carry out oral sex on mermaids and mermen, so that as well as that. And he's also got injuries on his anus and his genitals, which he says were caused by being forced to have sex with mermaids whilst also being anally penetrated by mermen. Now his doctors offer a different turn of event, event saying that all these injuries are self-inflicted. Because it transpires the very mollusks this guy was eating to stay alive were in an area of sea with a very high mercury content. And mercury is a toxin and also a powerful hallucinogen. So for 14 days, this guy was tripping his dick off. So when he thought he was being rogered by Abe Sapien from Hellboy, he was in fact hallucinating and shoving stuff up his own ass. Now he's expected to make a full recovery, which is a good thing, but there's going to be some weird PTSD going along with this. Or maybe not, maybe when the live action version of The Little Mermaid comes out, he'll be sat there confused as to whether or not he's had a bit of Ariel. In fact, these hallucinations sound so vivid and so weird, I'm tempted to get mercury poisoning just to see what happens. But here's something positive. Maybe in a few years' time, you could be in Florida, walk into a bar on the coast, and see an old fisherman sat there, and think that guy must have some stories. And he'd invite you over and go, Sit down, stranger. Let me tell you a strange tale. Right, one time, I got fucked by Aquaman. <laughs>